Chris of the family of five that lives in this small one bedroom house on a very busy Cleveland Street said they survived a nightmare. After 10 months, they say they can finally breathe a sigh of relief. Everything has been really quiet. We're going back to normal. A much different story than we heard a month ago when the Ware family, made up of Verlon, Jennifer, and three teenage kids, reached out to ABC 57 News for help. Officers, deputies, and emergency crews kept showing up at all hours of the day and night, responding to slips and falls, 911 hang-up calls, and even murders. But nothing like that had ever happened here. The problem started in July and abruptly ended this month. Uh, they have not been back here or, or anything, which I you know, found to be kind of odd. Have not been back. That's what you wanted, though. That's what we wanted, you know, and um, if, if it wasn't for Charm 57, um, you know, they still would have been doing this. We can go back to normal. We've been doing our daily routines like we used to. Um, we don't have to look over our shoulder or be in fear. In fact, they were in such fear, they got rid of all of their phones, landlines and cell, just to prove they weren't making the 911 calls. This week, Verlon and Jennifer finally bought phones again. We need uh, communication fires for emergencies. You know, for, for the kids and stuff like that. Go back to the beginning, hit this big, that mark. They also, after all this time, took down the signs on their front and back door that said they weren't making the calls and asking to be left alone. I'm just happy. Very thankful. Very thankful. And to Channel 57 News, I thank you as well because if it wasn't for you, um, we would have never been able to do the things we were able to do. And I thank you guys very much. And still tonight, no word on who or what was making those 911 calls to dispatch. When I called Indiana State Police, who was handling the investigation, I wasn't able to talk to anybody that had specific information into this case. The prosecutor's office says no probable cause affidavit's been filed. As for the wares, they say they may never know who or what was making the 911 calls. They say they are just thankful that they think it's finally over. Reporting in South Bend, Brian Dorman, ABC 57 News.